back at the Tulium and here's the uh, motor. It says 24 volts on it. It's backwards. They got to do was switch this wire with this wire because the pins the whip doesn't have this plug because the the power or trigger is is coming out of those two pins. Got to switch it back so that we're tricking the welder and the spool gun to think that the welder is using a whip. Have this plug, the front plug, the front little plug. That thing will be the uh, feeder. And so I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna cut these wires right off right now because it's never gonna go back. I'm not using that switch ever again and it is very weird. And I swear when I held the trigger as it was hot, it would still click while it was already hot. And then it would, I smelt something. So that is not cool. I'm gonna run it as is. All right. So, back. There it is, it's wired up. Happens. I took that bottom screw out right here. This is like this aluminum tube, and it's kind of got like this stopper, like a end stopper, and that's like to keep the gas from going that direction. So the gas comes out of these little holes. It's like the next size smaller. We hooked this up and we got it wired right. Let's see exactly what happens. We took the wire in the spool gun, the pins, and the two wires for these wires. We reversed them. So we have put those two wires into here and we put the wires that go into here into those two pins. So it was so this spool gun acts exactly like a normal whip does to make it perfect and just right right off the rip. Just get a, a switch that has a middle top and a bottom. The bottom one is wired perfect for the feeder, so it'll feed that. When it's set to here, it will feed only the spool gun. Oops. Because it knows. Here, look, as you can see, the grounds are always connected. Because this, because the power comes in for the machine, it comes into the switch that was already there, which I don't use now, because I, I, I cut it. This is the old pigtail for the spool gun. So since we can't use the switch, because it's not correct how they wired it, and we have to actually mimic the the uh, regular feed, regular gun. We're mimicking that, but we're just putting in a little switch. We could totally just wire them both. We could just tie them and not even use a switch. But when you pull the trigger, it'll feed, but it'll feed, the, it'll feed there too. Like, you know, it'll feed the spool gun and the feeder. I mean, you could have that. You'd have less amps, so half the torque. It would be unenjoyable to weld with. So we put in the switcher here. And you can pick. Boom. But can it weld? I guess we can test it. I mean, we got to do it. 220. 19 and a half volts. This started to do something. Some Aluminum is electrode positive, like steel, where the ground is negative. But on this machine, in the manual, it said otherwise. That's why I actually did what it says because I didn't want the machine to like get a bad error if it like needed the ground when it was powered that way at that time. I'm gonna try and actually do a little weld down to it. This is perfect for the aluminum. 15 feed, 
You could go down to 14 if you want. 21 volts. You could go down to 20 if you want. Dude. 